Okay. With 68.2% of the first choice ballots, Tom Horner is our endorsed candidate. John Fogarty in honor of, of Mark Jenkins and center field. I want to start, first of all, by thanking my whole family. You will see a lot more of them. <laughs> and when I said Libby was chair of the campaign, all of the volunteers who are working on the campaign know that that means she's running things and running them very well and we will have a terrific campaign. Christopher is going to be out there. Amanda is going to go full time once she gets done with uh, St. Thomas her junior year in a few weeks. And Kevin is going to be my traveling companion as we start uh, touring the state here uh, this coming week in fact. So you'll see a lot of them and I'm going to see a lot of you and I'm looking forward to that. I want to just say a couple of things. First of all, I want to really thank the, the other candidates who have made me a better candidate. Um, I appreciate all of the work that all of them have done. Let me say a special thanks to Rob Hahn and John Aldridge and a big round of applause for them. So here's where we go from here. We hit the road this coming week and, and start our tour of Minnesota. We've got some advertising that we're going to, to be doing here pretty soon that we'll announce in a bit. But as Mark said and as other candidates have told you, this has to be a team effort. I think we have a message this year that is going to resonate with Minnesotans, that Minnesotans are going to respond to. It is a message of leadership, a message of innovation, and a message of Minnesota first. <laughs> Minnesotans are hungry for respectful conversation. They are hungry for solutions. They are hungry for leadership that says it is time for everybody to sit at the same table to make joint decisions to have a clear vision of where we are going and get there together. That's our opportunity, that's our challenge, that's our need, that's what we will accomplish in the next four years with your help. And we get there with your help. And so let me echo some of the comments that, that you've heard. Um, I'm going to need all that you can do for me. I'm going to need your energy. I'm going to need your support. I'm going to need your financial contribution. I'm going to need your good thinking. And I need all of it starting today. So on the way out of here, please sign up as a volunteer at, at my table. I hope all of you, we have a thank you party because all of this campaign starts with thanking you, thanking my volunteers for all the work that, that you've done and for all that I'm going to call on for over the next several months. So we have a party at Oak City, um, a restaurant just uh, a couple uh, uh, miles from here. Um, we would love to have all of you there. I would love to see you. And I also want to, to make special mention before I, uh, I leave the podium here. 
I want to pay special uh, uh, recognition to my good friend Dave Durenberger, who has been so invested in this campaign, is going to work so hard for me going forward. And in particular, I want to acknowledge my good friend Tim Penny, not just for his endorsement today and for his work, but for all that he has taught me about how to be a decent person, how to be a good public policy maker, how to be a good Minnesotan over the years. And so a special acknowledgement to Tim. And then lastly, to all of our terrific congressional candidates, our great legislative candidates, the other candidates that, that come forward. Stephen M. Holt, way up there in the back, is the guy you want to talk to because I want to do all I can to help you out. Stephen's the campaign manager. He'll coordinate activities. We will let Minnesota know that it is not just Independence Party, it is independent thinking that is going to take Minnesota forward. So with that, Thank you. It is on to August and then on to November. Thank you very much.